so we 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 definitely have shared the same view yeah <laughs> oh come on you're allowed to disagree we don't have house <laughs> views here at bloomberg intelligence but okay fair enough ronak over to you i'll give an optimistic 2035 based on new skills design Oh, wow. Okay. So our clients are, are definitely uh, seeing it happen. Many of them are seeing it happen quite a bit more, uh, more quickly than uh, this group here. Uh, Scott, we're going to come to you for last word. Uh, when, when are we going to see the first SMR operational in the U.S. commercial one? I would take the under on that and say 2035 or possibly even before then. You have a new scale on one side, uh, which has the only uh, design that has been approved by the NRC, uh, and what you know, that's a great milestone. Uh, they still don't have a client that has been committed to have a, a you know a new a reactor with them. And then you have Oakla, which is like a more novel uh, technology, like you know what we call the Gen Four uh, uh, technology, and they have all these uh, letters of intent and all these agreements. Uh, and they don't still don't have uh, the permit or the the design approved or uh, anything from the NRC as of now concrete, but they but the technology is very promising. The way I kind of characterize the the report and our call is kind of like prudently optimistic. Um, we're talking about a 60% increase in uh, nuclear capacity is a big number. Um, and $350 billion is the cost of that. Uh, Three Mile Island will be in 2027. Then um, next era is actually moving along as well. So that probably will be in 2028. They, they get a lot of support. And so far, um, it seems like they think that technically um, they could be meeting this. Um, the reactor seems to be in good condition. So, so we see a lot of support there. But beyond those three, we don't, we don't really expect any other candidates.